If you're new to milling and you miss that fluffy white all-purpose flour type texture and product, then this video is for you. So what we're talking about is all-purpose flour. So my name is Cindy. If you're new to this channel, I talk about all things cooking and one of them is I do work with fresh milled flour and it is a learning journey that I am on and I'm taking you on as well. I've been doing this for about two years. I've learned a lot. I'm learning a lot more because it is a never ending process of learning. So here's what, let's talk about all purpose flour. Uh, so when I first started milling, you know, I was, I definitely wanted the nutrition and the benefits of milling my own whole grain, not just buying whole wheat flour that may have been milled a long time ago. I wanted as fresh as you could get, as nutritious as you can get. So I bought my own mill and I started grinding my own uh, grains. And I'm, I'm very happy I've done it, but I have to say it is a learning curve. And along the line, you start, I found myself kind of sort of drifting back into the, using the old bag flour once in a while, every now and then, and maybe even more and more. And I realized, geez, maybe there's a way that I can make all purpose flour and mix that in with some of the dishes that I'm making. I'm gonna tell you certainly in certain cases, I want 100% all, you know, 100% the brand, brand the, the endosperm, the germ. I want everything that that grain has. I love the flavor, I love the texture. It, it, it makes no difference to me. And most of the stuff I'm making where I'm replacing traditional flour with that, I'm happy with. But there's certain times that I just want to have a little bit more of that not quite so hearty, uh, you know, whole grain product. And that's when uh, I started to do some research and figured out how can I make my own all purpose flour. So all purpose flour, what is it? It's just like it says, it's all purpose. So it's about 11% uh, protein. And that means that you can use it for bread but you can also use it for pies, cookies, um, cakes, you know, things like that where you can go with the softer uh, wheat and a harder wheat that has a little bit more protein in it. So you can use it for just about anything. So to have a little all-purpose flour on hand is great. You can make a little bit ahead of time and put it in your pantry if you use it pretty quickly or mill it that day. So I'm gonna tell you it's gonna involve a couple of different grains. Now. I have actually gone online and I've looked at a lot of different millers and looked at what they do and there is such a wide variety of different grains that you can use. So, you know, there's no hard and fast rule. Look in your pantry, what do you have? But I'm going to tell you most of them agree that it's going to be a hard wheat, okay? Because a hard wheat does have a higher protein content. So I'm doing a 50-50 mix of turkey red, which is a hard wheat, and I'm doing a hard winter white, okay? Now, what I did is I did already mill this on my mill into a fine grain, but when I put my hand in there, I can certainly feel the brand and the texture in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put it back on my mill. I have this, this sifter that I bought with, uh, I didn't buy it with the mill. <laughs> Um, when I bought the mill, it's kind of a pricey item to begin with, and the accessory for it was the sifter. I think it was about $100, maybe a little more extra, and I thought, ah, I'll just, you know, sift it myself. And, you know, you can do that. If you don't have a sifter, you can use um, one of these crank-type sifters, or you can use, you know, one of these mesh-type um, strainers and sifters. It just takes a while, obviously, and I decided, you know what, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna spend the hundred bucks because I'm definitely gonna use this. But what this does, and I'll turn it on for a second, it's gonna take me probably about five minutes to sift all this, but uh, what that does is it has a little screen in there and it just sifts it for you. There are other sifters, I've seen standalone sifters on Amazon that you can buy, and I'll tell you, if you are going to be sifting a lot, it's almost worth it. It's, it's kind of a pain in the butt to sift them. But what I'm looking for is the most, um, the most extraction that I can get. I want to get as much bran out of here and, and get this as soft and fluffy as I can. So that how this works, I'm just going to turn it on and then I'm going to see you back when it's all done. But basically, it's going to just start going. And there you go. It goes so fast. All right, when this is done, I'll be back and show you what it looks like. Okay, we are pretty much done now. I have sifted this and here is all the brand. Now what I'm going to do, this, uh, this sifter actually comes with three different size sifters. What I have in there right now is the medium one. 
I am gonna switch that screen out to the fine one and then I'm going to fine sift it. So we'll be back in a few more minutes. All right, we are getting to the end of the uh, sifting process here and I'm gonna stop it now. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the sifter off and I'm gonna put the stone back on and I'm gonna mill it or I'm gonna grind it on fine one more time. All right, so I am grinding this again on the finest setting and you're, you are gonna to have to work with it a little bit to get it down that hopper. So don't walk away, just kind of play with it and help it to get down there and grind. This is gonna take a couple of minutes. I'll see you back when it's done, okay? All right, we're getting to the bottom of that. That took, oh, about a minute. Took about a minute or so. Got that all the way through. Now, I am gonna do one more fine sieve, fine mesh sieve sift one more round. So we'll be back in a minute. All right, we are pretty much at the end here. As you can see, there's not much more flour falling out and I'm gonna stop it now. I did manage to get a little bit more bran out of there and that's what we got. So now, just for comparison, I'm gonna show you what I have here is some commercial bought all-purpose flour, unbleached, and let's just see if we can, oh, I used my funnel for this, I guess I want to make such a mess. But let's see if we can see the difference here. So I got mine probably as fine as you're gonna get it from a home mill. I'm not sure how well that's, this translates on film, but as you can see, in a commercial flour mill, I mean, this is like fine powder, right? Here, you, you still are going to see a little bit of specks in here because somehow they have figured out how to get every last tiny little bit of nutrient out of here. All you're getting is the fluff, right? Here with a home mill, this is about as good as you're going to get. And, you know, it's pretty fine here through the process that I did. Now, you know... <laughs> It looked like it was very complicated. It wasn't. The whole process from beginning to end was probably 10 minutes. It's just a lot of futzing and switching around. Do you have to go to the de in depth that I did it? No. Do you have the equipment that I have? Maybe not. But the point is, is you've got your two hard wheats, you've milled it, you've sifted it, and you can now use this as an all-purpose flour. This is also really good. Like, so one of the reasons I like to make this is I like to make a, I have a, um, a, a KFC, uh, copycat recipe for a chicken nuggets that I like to make and so I usually like to use an all-purpose flour for that so sometimes when you have a just it's like you really just need all-purpose flour I didn't want to keep using the commercial all-purpose flour I wanted to use my own and so again um, if you want to lighten up some dinner rolls or you want to lighten up some some bread or sandwich bread you don't want to be just so densely wheat um, tortillas this is also kind of good to mix with this so that's where you want to have your own all-purpose uh, flour handmade. So I hope that was helpful for you. If so, please like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit that notification button so you get all my recipes. Thanks so much for joining. We'll see you again.